All right, I'm back from camping. Quick and easy video. Show everybody how to do it in a pinch. We had a lot of these water bottles at our campsite. Bees were overwhelming us. They had a different, bunch of different traps. Bottom line is this quick, easy method kind of trapped more bees. So I just made a hole right there. You can see kind of probably a little teeny hole. You just take a bottle, you don't have to cut it and flip it or do anything like that. This method seemed to catch more, plus it's larger. So it fills up faster with the bees or yellow jackets or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you just take it, I don't know if you can see, you just take any kind of knife you got. I didn't have a utility knife, this is obviously dull. Make a slit down, turn it 90 degrees, slit across. And you just kind of fold it back on itself. The four corners. And you can modify this as you're going. If it, the trap doesn't seem like it's catching a lot, it might be because the hole is too small. It's a pretty decent size hole. It's a hole. I'll do like three usually. One, two, three. About two thirds up, you don't want it too close to the top because they're always flying up looking for a way out. And then you just fill it with water and like one drop of dish soap in the top. Just unscrew it. Fill with water about right here. Drop a dish soap on top, cap it, put it away from your campsite. Oh, and uh, drop a couple pieces of meat I used. In the hot, if you want to watch the whole dumb video, uh, I used turkey, like ground turkey we had for our dog. And then I actually took a hot dog our kids didn't eat, dropped that in one, and actually some scrambled eggs. Actually worked okay also. So basically anything, drop a couple pieces of chunk, shake it up, a couple holes, that's it. The meat's just floating in the water. It's quick and easy and they just get attracted to it like crazy. And it cut down on the numbers quite a bit. If I'd done that from day one, probably would have made our life a lot easier. So that's it, super easy. My little bee trapping experiment. That flies down. That's about two days. This was today. They like hot dog and water, obviously. All these traps, well, at least on this side over here, are all the easy method. You just poke a hole, three holes in the side. That's it, fill up, fill up with some meat, drop a dish soap, some water. These are about, I think this one, that one, about two or three days now. This is about an experiment I did with egg, leftover scrambled egg. Kind of worked. Hit my guy first. This is a store-bought one. Didn't work halfway. Nobody got trapped up above. Two ways they crawl in up here there's some sort of chemical in a vial here and you add some chemical to the water you can see it's all cloudy now not even one yellow jacket went in there they all crawled on the bottom there's a cotton ball down here with some like h and b chemical that uh, draws them in and it drew them in won't kill them but they don't drown they're just gonna sit there and slowly die worked pretty well that smell probably drew some extra guys over here. And it was only meat drawing these guys in. But, no,
Yeah, we're cool. I'll go to the other side and see some other traps here. Up the hill. This is my first batch. What I saw online, people were cutting the bottles off and inverting them so they crawl in. Couldn't get out. They kind of worked. I put some meat, the duct tape, some meat in there. Kind of worked, but it fills up pretty fast. Um, see, this is, this is about four days old. This one tipped over. All the water dumped out. It must have got out. This one, I think, got tipped. That one works really well. All this just has, like, cooked turkey meat. They're all just cooked turkey meat. That one kind of worked, but this, this method's quick and easy. I'll just I poke, like, three holes. Just big enough for the bee. If it's not filling up fast, the holes might be too small. That one over there, I don't know how old that one is. That one, the holes might be too small. I haven't really... I just dunked some hamburger or hot dog in this one today. It's been about four hours. No one really liked this. Maybe the hole's too large and they can crawl back out. I duct taped meat on the inside originally. That didn't work. One bee in there, so this is a failure. Bang for buck. Okay, bud. Bang for buck. Yeah, go for it. Anywhere you want. Uh, this is quick and easy. I would definitely recommend this. And you can buy chemicals to add to draw them in too, but just meat, right? Any kind of protein works great. So we uh, decrease the numbers here a lot. Make camping a little bit easier. Still kind of a pain. I'll dump all these bees out and then we'll see how many we got. This is all the bees we caught this weekend. Camping five nights. But I didn't start creating these till like the second night, so pretty good haul. Now that I know what to do, what not to do. Uh, I will be improving these next time I go, that's for sure. But got some of them. Let's see what the pile is here. I'll take a picture. This is the pile. You can see it. A little hard. So all the empty bottles. Not a decent haul. I have no idea how many that is. That's a lot. I'm pretty angry too. So. Ow, get out of here. Come on. Anyway, more next time.